All right. This news you need to take with an obvious grain of salt. It, it's a rumor, but it's a rumor that Destructoid is backing heavily. And <laughs> it kind of is interesting in wake of some comments that Reggie fils stated earlier this year. But let's just get right into it. So Destructoid uh, editor Jonathan Holmes put up a post. He's calling it an opinion. Uh, it it fits more in the rumor territory, he admits, kind of in the leak of the SNES Classic. Uh, he says he has sources that are very trustworthy, very close to the situation, but uh, obviously you can't reveal them. And essentially, you saw the title of the video, it's that Mother 3 is never going to be localized and that the Rhythm Heaven series is dead. Here is what his source said to him verbatim. You never know what's going to happen. But the way it looks right now, under Nintendo's current administration, Mother 3 will never leave Japan, and there will never be another Rhythm Heaven game. Iowata was a driving force behind the Rhythm Heaven series, and a consistent advocate for NOA to at least look at the possibility of Mother 3 finding a new audience in the United States and Europe. With him gone, there is no one at Nintendo pushing for either anymore. The core team behind Rhythm Heaven series has more or less been disbanded. And the last time anyone at NOA considered translating Mother 3, they shelved the game as soon as they got to the mega the the, the Mag I can't really pronounce the word M A G Y P S I E S, uh, and that was a while ago now. And if anything, management has gotten even less adventurous since then, depicting trans characters in a way that would likely insult both the political left and the right in the U S. Is the kind of attention that Nintendo wants for themselves in the in 2017 or doesn't want for themselves they want nothing to do with those kinds of headlines and potential protests oh man so this is a lot to digest for starters it sucks that the rhythm heaven series is uh, seemingly done it was a series i enjoyed i'm sure many of you enjoyed as well but obviously with the late satoru iwata passed away uh and him being the sole advocate for that series Obviously, it's not going to happen anymore. And, and the fact the whole team for the Rhythm Heaven series has been disbanded, dispersed, maybe some people quit, maybe moved on to other positions. Uh, that's a very, a very good sign that Rhythm Heaven is done. Uh, Mother 3 coming west. It sucks that Mother 3 is a fantastic game. We all know for a long time now there's been a fan translation that has existed for a long time for people who want to play the ROM version of the game and enjoy it in english and what how accurate that uh translation is i can't verify because i don't speak japanese but it's very interesting that the hook up here has to do with the depiction of trans characters and the way that it would upset the left and right politically and that nintendo doesn't want that kind of attention it sucks we live in a world where nintendo has to worry about the political backlash of the united states government officials uh, when it comes to releasing a game, because we've seen games tackle, you know, gay people and trans and, uh, you know, the whole wide spectrum of of sexual preferences and uh, gender identities. And for Nintendo to be afraid to dive into that territory themselves, when they very clearly were not afraid of it when Mother 3 was created many, many, many years ago in Japan... Uh, it kind of sucks that they ha they have this fear that it's going to ha create some sort of uh, backlash that isn't worth the sales they're going to get. And I think Nintendo, uh, sometimes, especially NOA, and this has been a criticism of NOA for a long time, we we've seen how they have altered text in games from their original uh, translations several times over. It happened w even in Breath of the Wild. It, it wasn't as bad in Breath of the Wild, but there are certain elements when people are trying to place it timeline-wise that literally do not exist in the original text in Japanese, um, speaking specifically of a reference to Twilight Princess. So it's, it's really interesting when you sit back 
And you look at how Nintendo of America has handled translations over the years and the way they've altered things and the type of things they've censored. You know, we've seen in the Fire Emblem series, oh, oh, someone, you know, there's a girl showing her hip. We better hide that in the box art or in the official art or in the cutscene by having some clothes covered up. And it's not like that kind of stuff to me is a big deal. I understand where they're coming from, trying to desexualize the game a little bit because it's more acceptable in Japan than it is here. I mean, kind of crazy, right? That that in, in a country where porn and, uh, you know, af- late night TV and, you know, all these, uh, you know, Game of Thrones has naked people in it. I mean, in, in a society we live in today in the United States that we're afraid of a little hip action in a video game just seems weird. But Nintendo of America has had a lot of issues when it comes to translating games and their strict policies regarding it and as much as reggie fils and others might advocate nintendo for games like xenoblade chronicles it's really hard uh looking at them with a straight face when you hear news like this that satoru awada the literal like guy who ran all of nintendo wanted mother 3 to come to the u.s but it was nintendo of america that put up the roadblocks for it that sucks when you hear that because the translation team as they're translating the game stopped at a point where where the trans came into the game like i it's really frustrating that a game like this is likely never going to come to the united states never get an official translation because Nintendo is so worried about political backlash. I don't think... I mean, there's a, there's a place where p- politics and video games cross, right? That happens. There are games that are very political-oriented. Just like there's TV shows that are political You know, Last Man Standing was very right-leaning. Uh, it, it was definitely a, like a Republican kind of show. And there's lots of, you know, leftist shows as well out there that dive into politics. And that's fine. That's okay. And it's okay for video games to do that as well. But that's not really what Mother 3 does, right? It's, at least from what I could tell from the fan translation... How it approaches trans people isn't that bad. Is it insulting in some ways? I guess I can see it, but it's not It's not like... It's definitely an adult theme, but it's not something that we should be so afraid to wrap our minds around as consumers. And Nintendo of America shouldn't be afraid as well. And that's what sucks is that as long as it's got this controversial theme in the game, Nintendo's not going to bring it over. And it feels weird saying this because earlier this year, you know, Reggie fils hinted that if we didn't hear anything about Mother... That we that to talk to him about Mother 3 uh, at the end of the year, if we don't hear anything about it by then, and lo and behold, now we're finally hearing something come out of the grapevine, and that is that it's not coming. And it's like... The excuse here sucks. And I'm sure someone's going to have the balls to ask Reggie about this specific instance. And Reggie, of course, isn't going to comment on anything behind the scenes like that. Um, but it would be cool to get clarification from him that it's not a theme in the game that's that's preventing it from coming to the United States. Because if that's the case, I don't know how to feel. And I don't know if you guys know how to feel either because... Uh, some of you might not even be aware of what the, th- the theme is here and why the right and left would both be upset at Nintendo uh, if they release the game. It's it's really mind-boggling to me. And Nintendo is definitely a company that always tries to be, at least in America, politically correct. I think we can, all as Nintendo fans admit, Nintendo doesn't like to stir the pot and doesn't like to create controversy. But I don't really know what the problem is with doing that once in a while. It's not like the right and the left are going to suddenly shun your games from retailers. They want to make money, and there's plenty of more controversial games that get released and still come to the retailers. Heck, if you're worried, you can make it retailer uh, specific. You did it with Xenoblade Chronicles. You could just t- talk to GameStop. They're not going to care. They just want money. And just be like, GameStop. Stop. We'll release Mother 3, but exclusively there, so then you don't have to worry about uh, people that run other companies like Walmart and Target and Toys R Us and Best Buy. Uh, there's ways around this, and I mean, the most obvious way around it is just make it a digital download. Then who cares? I mean, will the New York Times or somebody else write an article about it? Sure. And they always paint video games seemingly in a bad light. But there's so much goodwill built up, Nintendo, that I think you can handle a blow like this to 
uh, satisfy your fan base. I mean, you're putting these characters in games like Smash Bros. The least you can do is give us the the supposed conclusion to the Earthbound series in the West in some way, even if it's just a digital download. Do it, Nintendo. Don't let politics get in the way of releasing one of the best games you guys have ever made in the history of your company. Come on, Nintendo. Get off your butts and give us the game we all have been wanting for decades. It exists. It's in your library. If it's not a problem in Japan, it's not like we have any worse rules here in the United States. Let's make it happen. Stop worrying about offending people. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And, oh, man, I'll catch you guys in the next one.